Level 5 Survival Difficulty Class 2, Unsafe, Secure, Low Entity Count. Level 5 is a sixth level of the back rooms and often considered the smallest. It is generally regarded as one of the safer levels. Despite this, it can still be easily underestimated and result in death or insanity. Description. Level 5 is a top of its prime hotel from the early 20th century. There are records of two areas, the main hall and the boiler room. Other areas exist but are undocumented. The only recorded creatures here are death myths, which aren't very dangerous, so keeping sanity is the priority to surviving this floor. It's one of the most object-populated floors, with art decorations and furniture being quite commonplace. It is also most likely the oldest floor, as everything seems to date back to the 1920s. The oddly pristine floors and well cared for areas make for an unsettling feeling in what should be such a dilapidated place, considering its age. This level is filled with swarms of death moths, as this level is their central hive. Aside from the uneasy feeling portrayed unto the explorers, many people report seeing a mysterious beast with a squid's head and a human body on this floor. In an odd fashion, its attire is reported to be a formal, black suit and tie. So far, it is reported to only prey on mentally unstable people. There is also a rumor that if you use the elevator on this level, you'll be taken to the infamous level 1.5 the main hall. The main hall is a safer of the two areas. It comprises a series of large rooms and vaulted corridors. Most of the rooms are relatively empty, with occasional 1920s era furnishings and details. Most of the halls are covered in ornate wallpaper that seems to have faces or stare as you walk by. The floor is either spotless white marble or exotic red and gold carpets. There are a number of early 20th century elevators scattered across the area. They are different from most backroom elevators as they have elegant dark wood frames and wood panel interiors. The floor indicator above the elevators goes from 1 to 13. Attempting to use these elevators will result in death. The main hub of this area is the Beverly Room, often referred to as the Eternal Ballroom. The spacious room has two doors on the west wall and two doors on the east wall, each leads to a different area of either the hotel or the boiler. It only contains a small fanciful table in the center, illuminated by a large chandelier. On the table is an unfinished game of mahjong. Attempting to interact with this game teleports you to level 2. All the entrances are marked with a small silver sign writing, the Beverly Room, as one might see in the hotel banquet hall. The boiler the second area, known simply as the boiler room is a large, but tight room, clearly well used. This area contains numerous large machines and pipe work, intertwined. The room is hot and dry, the scent of steam fills the air. Pipes and exhaust valves line most of the walls. Many have reported the sounds of whispers from the larger boilers. There are currently three recorded maintenance elevators within the boiler room and it is advised to avoid them at all costs. As with most levels, there is a constant buzz of ceiling lighting whenever traversing this level. People have also reported the sounds of faint big band swing jazz music and distant party chatter. This level is infamous for its mysterious whispering and unseen presence. People report something whispering incoherently behind them, or tapping their shoulder when they're alone. With the supposed watching eyes from the age paintings, and the claustrophobic machinery layout this room can cause a heavy tax on sanity. This is why almond water is needed to survive in this level. Luckily, it can be found from leaps in the boiler room. Those who have gone insane here speak of a mysterious beast known as the Beast of Level 5, a tall slender humanoid wearing a black suit and tie. It has been described as having a humanoid body with the head of a cephalopod, with tentacles around its mouth. People have claimed it has camouflage abilities, and they say its glowing eyes stare at them from the paintings occasionally. It is unknown if this beast is real or a hallucination, as it doesn't resemble any of the other entities seen on level 5, and has only been reported by those with deteriorate insanity, although all reports of it have very similar descriptions. Colonies and Outposts the originals there is one colony set up in the large lobby of the hotel section. They call themselves, the originals, and are comprised of a number of people trapped in the back rooms from between about 1300 and 1940. They are suspicious of anyone from later or earlier time periods and keep to themselves. They are willing to trade goods with passersby but are reluctant to trade with other major colonies. The majority of people in this colony were trapped in the back rooms after the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and the 1912 sinking of the Titanic. Notable members include Amelia Earhart, Dorothy Arnold, and Jacob Astor Ivkicht. Edward Smith. Entrances and exits. Entrances it is easy to enter this level. Just find office style stairways in level 4 or get on an elevator in level 3. Exits there are two known ways to exit this level. 
Just turn around and go back up the stairs, get back on the elevator, or travel deep into the boiler to get to level 6. Though it is advised to not take the latter route, due to the extreme heat, 